Sonic Maurice Hedgehog is an edgy but ultimately lovable bad boy who has the public's best interest at heart. That's the story he would like you to believe at least, but today I aim to prove the opposite. Um, let's go over the charges. Well, I guess let's begin with what the defendant is most known for, being very unslow. And while speeding is usually punished by fines, which is boring, refusing to pay those fines is, much more excitingly, a jailable offence. Not another speeding ticket. I'll fight it in court, but I don't think they're gonna accept gotta go fast as a medical condition. Well, Mr. Hedgehog, here you are today, and yes, we very much do not. Furthermore, given how often the defendant displays this pattern of behaviour, it's with great confidence that I'm adding one more charge for every single 2D or 3D platformer in which he appears. However, unpaid fines are only the beginning of the collateral damage caused by his speed obsession. After years of experimenting with performance-enhancing supplements, by the way, something fairly strongly forbidden during any Olympic event, the defendant instead resorted to vehicular offences to get his next speed-based high. Offences such as commandeering an entire space shuttle for a joyride, which is pretty high up on illegal things to do, I really wouldn't recommend doing that. And another incident of note saw the defendant, in a frenzied and speed-induced haze, burst through the window of the President of the United States' limo, causing a major security breach in the process. Clearly the defendant is a danger to himself and should be locked away, nice and still, for his own safety. I mean, the guy can't even dress himself. Pretty cool, huh? But actually, I would argue he's far more of a danger to others. This may manifest as a relentless harassment campaign, such as this, which resulted in severe psychological harm for his elderly victim. But believe it or not, this is getting off lightly. As we can see in this footage where the defendant, with a sword in hand, executes none other than the legendary King Arthur. Yes, King. That's right, Sonic done a regicide. This casual slaying of a foreign land's royalty perfectly sums up the contempt this mammalian menace has for other cultures. Something also demonstrated by his senseless destruction of ancient architecture in Sky Sanctuary, and many others, including dropping an entire orbiting structure from space, blowing up an amusement park, and even ripping vital machinery from a government helicopter mid-flight, all for the sake of some impromptu snowboarding on the city streets. Also, trams? Really? Destroying public transportation isn't rebellious, Sonic, it's vital infrastructure. Now, I'm sure you're starting to see the full extent of the problem here. In Sonic's world, rules are really nothing to be concerned about. For example, he frequents casinos despite being a mere 15 years of age. And the defendant has openly bragged of copyright infringement on a previously unprecedented scale. No copyright law in the universe is going to stop me! It's clear as day that Sonic is actually speaking from experience here, which means even being our most generous, Sonic is accountable for at least one five-year offence for each and every country on Earth. I'll just leave those going on in the background while I press on. Since yes, this Dickensian crime spree doesn't end there. Sonic has been spotted using a stolen employee keycard to gain entry to a restricted area. 
and as if his comfort in the criminal underworld wasn't evidenced enough by this point, his regular use of the black market seals the deal. Talking of shady, the defendant prefers to travel between countries by unofficial means, sidestepping all custom procedures and passport checks. But what's he trying to hide? Could it be this? Yes, a delicious chow egg, which Sonic and his accomplices transport from all around the world outside the eyes of the law. For what purpose? Well, take a look for yourself. Those poor, helpless, delicious chows. Sonic really does deserve every second he'll be spending behind bars. Talking of that, how are we doing with the copyright offences? Still going. Oh dear. So how has this menace evaded capture for these crimes before I hear you cry? Well, now that you're aware of what this thug is capable of, the answer is fairly obvious, no? And when he is successfully locked away by some miracle pending a lawful trial, a jailbreak is never far behind. And when it comes to evading justice, Sonic is more than happy to help others too. Yes, the defendant frequently associates with wanted criminals, all the while making no attempts to turn them in to the appropriate law enforcement. But of course, there's one final thing, isn't there, Mr. Hedgehog? That's right, we know. And what's more, I can prove it right here in this very courtroom. Mr. Hedgehog, catch! There you have it, caught in the act. Flying in the face of proper waste disposal, Every single day, the defendant compulsively leaves more and more of his belongings strewn across our countrysides and cities. In the worst case of littering I have ever seen. Which of course isn't jailable or anything, but that's pretty messed up, right? The Internet Court has heard your crimes, Mr. Hedgehog, and totalling up your despicable deeds, it brings me great pleasure to sentence you to... 1,158 years imprisonment, and two years banned from sporting events. For reference, all of that is about as long as it would take to travel to Pluto and back while rolling around at the speed of sound. So, pick us up a souvenir while you're out there, inmate. Hey there, thanks for watching. Special shout outs today go to all these fine folks who turned informant and sent me loads of examples of Sonic's crimes on Twitter. As always, subscribe for more of this sort of thing, and I'll see you next time. Yeah.